back. There are more than 34 million Americans dealing with diabetes. Over time, high blood sugar will cause nerve damage in their feet and without care, ulcers could form and never heal. More than 80% of amputations begin as a simple ulcer, but with simple daily changes, it is preventable. For those with diabetes, the destruction of nerves in your feet might lead to a lifetime of damage. Because it doesn't hurt, uh, they keep walking on it and they don't get the feedback that they've got a problem. An ulcer is more likely to become infected if it's present for more than 30 days. So check your feet daily for any of the following injuries. You might not even feel it. When I took my boot off, my sock was all full of blood. I got a little one inch stone underneath my foot and I never felt it. Wash in lukewarm water and avoid soaking so your skin doesn't break down. Pat dry and use lotion to keep them soft, but don't apply between the toes. It could cause a fungal infection, so use cornstarch or talcum powder. When trimming, go straight across to prevent painful ingrown toenails. Use clean, dry socks made of cotton or wool that aren't too tight or loose, as the elastic bands can restrict blood flow and make sure you're wearing shoes that fit properly and provide support for the heel, arch, and ball of the foot. One study found that 63% of diabetics wear the wrong size. If any lesions arise, see a doctor right away. Waiting over six weeks to see a doctor can increase the likelihood of an amputation. It's a lot of work, but worth it so you don't have an amputation. So also be very cautious of extreme temperatures. In the heat, avoid burns by putting sunscreen on your feet. And also make sure you're wearing shoes outside. In the cold, wear thick socks and shoes and keep your feet away from heaters, heating pads, and of course, open fires. Jen?